Hello everyone, welcome back to Blackjack. I'm Blackjack Aviani. Today we're going to be watching uh, Pokemon Hisuian Snow Episode 1, Onto the Icy Blue. Uh, from what I understand, uh, these shorts take place before the games, so we're not going to see anyone from the games. I don't think. <laughs> Let's check it out. Ooh, captions. Mysterious. Aww. Poor little thing. Oh, there we go. Got some fury. Are they just coming uh, into I hate getting seasick like that. The region it's just terrible. <laughs> you want a trip? I'm visiting my father. He lives in Jubilife Village. Oh, it's oh, after I'm Jubilife Village is set up. Huh. What do you mean? Haven't you heard? They say a violent Pokemon has appeared in the Alabaster Forest. Hmm. The way this was presented, I thought it was supposed to be that it was like far in the well, no, maybe not far in the past, but you know, oh, before this is before. Some fine work. Is this your first time visiting the Hisui region? No, I come to the Alabaster Forest for wood once a year. I also figure it's about time I start teaching my son the craft. <laughs> <laughs> hey now, stop that! <laughs> my, he's quite Just an once a year, young man. I'm so sorry. Can it be a Ginkgo Guild member actually doing work? <laughs> they are not exactly a productive bunch. Turn that down a little. <laughs> Yeah, you don't go wandering there's off. Pokemon in that forest. Yeah, there's probably lots it's of them. A bad one. What's it like? Have you seen it we, before? We get his name in it's called in the subtitles, but it hasn't that been spoken Pokemon yet. was supposedly mistreated by humans. It lost everything and became something else. Awesome. Mistreated? But why? Why would those people be so mean? The lighting in this scene is very unusual. People and Pokemon can never coexist. You always have. You gotta figure, stuff like the Kalos War was already thousands of years ago by this point. Can I go look around here for a bit? Just don't go deep in the woods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, don't go by the glowing blue spot. I would think that would be implied. Ooh, it's a shiny. Aw, it's practicing! It's practicing! Everything just 
falling into place, isn't it? <laughs> now here he's back to being boy, but he was Alec when he spoke off screen. A while to get him. Well, you're fucked. The lighting in this is such an unusual thing. Yeah, so suddenly you're like a mile in the air. You know what this region needs? It needs some frickin' Pokemon Rangers. I'm looking to see... who did the voice acting. We got Ensemble Cosmopolitan was the orchestra. That's cool. Am I missing the actors? Or are they gonna... Staging is... Oh, original story, Satoshi Tajiri. Does that mean of Pokemon? Or did he write this? Oh, Holly Bowen. There we go. Okay. Uh, okay, I've heard of Laura Post, Damon Mills, and Steve Kramer before. Uh, Chris Hackney. I think I've heard that name before. Oh, golly. Why is it? Okay, let's see. He's in Horizon Forbidden West. Um... Oh, he was N in Pokemon Evolutions. He's in Shin Megami Tensei. Wait, okay, now I realize you can actually see that. Oh, he's Avery Gimstar on Lycan Rock and Twilight Wings, which I really need to finish watching. Additional voices in Final Fantasy VII Remake. Oh, his Vulcan Masters. Okay, so he does a lot of Pokemon stuff. Uh... Okay, well, you're seeing it now, even though I didn't actually tell... Okay, and Lizzie Freeman. Okay, she's known for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. How about that? Uh, Chocobo GP. Okay. I've heard it's apparently quite fun to play, but they botched everything else. I've heard good things about I've been killing slimes for 300 years and maxed out my level. <laughs> You know, the Disgaea games are very appealing to me in everything except actual gameplay. I've tried to play them, and I just cannot get into the gameplay. I love the sense of humor, the characters look great, etc. I just, just can't get into Oh, she, okay, she's Sabrina in Pokemon Masters. That's pretty cool. All right. <laughs> Dragalia Lost will rip that game. Okay, and Steve Kramer. Where have I heard of him before? It's probably going to be something really obvious, and I'm not going to be able to... Yeah. I, I'm just going to kick myself for it, huh? Okay. I... There's an Oh My Goddess the movie? Really? Oh, Bo Bo Bo. That was a hilarious show. Oh my gosh. Okay, alright. He worked on Digimon. 
That would be why I've heard of him. <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> management leader slash Oda Nobunaga. Yeah, yeah, you could call him a management leader. I wonder which Kiki's dub that was. A uh, streamlined dub of Totoro. <laughs> Remember Shinzo? That was a bizarre show. Cool, cool. Alright. Oh, and then it just fades. All right, interesting. Well, this has uh, certainly been a an interesting journey. <laughs> we got to see something rare, a member of the Ginkgo Guild being productive. I mean, you think about it, Tully kind of carries the organization. <laughs> I mean, Ginter's the boss, but he just is like, yeah, I found this thing in the in the garbage. You want it? <laughs> You know, Volo is constantly chastised for not doing his work. There's the guy in the basement whose name I can never remember who never does anything except issue you the Frostlass quest. There's the one woman who helps you set up a camp and then disappears. They are not a productive bunch. Tuli is really the only one who does consistent work and all she does is stand there and sell you stuff. <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh, it's really no wonder that Ginter has no extra dialogue uh, after Mission 26. Because this is just par for the course for his organization. It's just like, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not like he ever sold anything anyway. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Well, I will see you, me. I was going to say next week, but I don't actually know when the next one's going to show up. Yeah, it doesn't even say. Yeah, it never actually says the name Alec. It said it once in captions, and then it went back to calling him Boy. So, this is a very odd thing. And his father doesn't seem to have a name at all. But yeah, I was definitely under the impression that this was, like, way prior to the events of the game. The rift isn't there, so I don't know if this is before or after. Likely before, if we're still supposed to be afraid of Pokemon. But we see Alec as an adult, so it might be before and after? Who knows? <laughs> okay. Alright, well, then again, was Jubilee Village set up by Galaxy? Or did they just move into what was a small community? I don't freaking know. Anyway, I will see you all next episode. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I am Black Chick Caviani, and I have a notebook.